Math placement is important. The purpose of math placement is to determine which math course is right for you. The math course you start with can impact how much money and time you spend on your education. This could get in the way of you graduating, especially if you put math off, as many students do, and then don't graduate because they just need that one math course. We recommend you take a math course within your first year of studies at Highline. We are here to support you and want you to get into the best math courses for you. At Highline College, we do math placement in many different ways to serve you best. What does math placement look like at Highline College? Math placement steps. Determine which math course you need for the degree you are seeking. This is called your math pathway. Each area of study requires a specific math course. For instance, pre-nursing requires math 146, statistics, business, math 111, college algebra. Talk with the placement advisor afterwards about your math pathway. Figure out what math placement method is best for you. We can place you by looking at your high school transcripts, GED scores, Smarter Balance scores, or AP scores, or even other college classes or placement tests. If you cannot use one of these methods, you will take my math test, which many of you are about to do. If you do take my math test, we recommend several ways to do your best on this test and get into the right math class. Take an initial assessment for free at the Placement and Testing Center in Building 1. After that, you will have access to a study plan designed just for you. Based off your answers on your initial assessment, my math test creates an interactive study plan for you to practice the areas that were difficult for you. Attend one of our two brush-up workshops, face-to-face -face or online. The workshop facilitators will help to refresh your rusty math skills by targeting the content areas identified on your study plan and answering all of your questions. After you have refreshed your skills and feel confident that you are ready to retake my math test, come back and do it. 85% of students who retake my math test place one level higher. That saves you three months and nearly $600. We are always here to answer any questions you have and support you in meeting your math placement goals. You can call or visit the Placement and Testing Center to ask for advice or to get additional resources. Our assessment and placement advisors are always here for you. Let's review. First, Determine your math pathway or the college math course you need for the degree you are seeking. Number two, figure out what math placement is best for you. High school transcripts, GED, my math test, etc. Three, enroll in a math course in your first year at Highline. Go to class every day, do your homework, form a study group, and access tutors at the Math Resource Center. Four, don't let math be a barrier to completing your degree. And finally, you got this. You are smart, brilliant, capable, and going to have a great time at Highline College. Before you begin the test, here are some important information about how to enter answers using the Math Palette Toolbox. Some answers on my math test will be multiple choice, but most will require that you enter an answer into an answer box. Click into the answer box and type your answer. If your answer requires math symbols such as square root or absolute value, you will use the math palette toolbox at the bottom of the screen. Click on the symbol that you need, square root, type the number 3, and then submit your answer. If you are required to enter multiple answers, you will need to separate them with commas. Use the arrow keys in the bottom right hand corner of your keyboard to exit the square root before typing your comma. Now I will use the fraction symbol and enter the fraction 1. Press the down arrow key in the bottom right hand of the keyboard to go to the bottom of the fraction and type 2. The right arrow key to exit the fraction and type my next comma. Absolute value symbol, type the number 5. Right arrow key to exit the absolute value. Another comma and the number 4. Some questions will require the input of more complicated answers, such as 3 minus the square root of 57 over 4. To enter such an answer, click the fraction bar first. Enter the numerator, 3 minus the square root of 57. Then exit the square root with the right arrow key, and use the down arrow key. Lastly, some questions will request you to graph an equation. Click on the graph 
and select the type of equation you want to graph, in this case a line. I will select the line and graph the equation. Here we are in slope intercept form, so the y intercept is 5, and the slope is negative 5 over 3, down 5 over 3. If you accidentally click the wrong point, you can use the arrow keys to move your equation around, or select a specific point and use the arrow keys to move that point around.